Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the six different ways how you can fix a glitchy screen after the latest Android update on the Samsung Galaxy S20 or the Galaxy S21 series. Okay, so let's uh, dive right into the solution number one. So the first thing that you want to do is tap on the recent key at the bottom. And in here, try to close all the running apps so you can close all the apps one by one or you can tap on the close all button at the bottom to close all the apps at the same time. Now, when you do this, it basically close all the apps running on your device and clear it from memories. Now, this can be a problem if you have apps like games that is uh, quite heavy usage of memory and CPU and that sometimes can cause your device to have issues during the update. So give that a try first, guys, to see if you can fix the problem. Okay, so if that does not work, we will now proceed to uh, solution number two. Okay, with this solution, we can try to force the phone to restart. First, we press on the volume down together with the side key or the power button to force the device to restart. So let's do it now. Press on both keys at the same time. So press and hold, continue to hold, continue to hold and continue to hold until you see that we've the device uh, turn off and we start. Now, once you see the Samsung logo, let go of all the buttons and let the device uh, restart. Now, what this uh, does is that it uh, effectively um, cl clears out all the memory in your device. It refreshes the memory and then allow the phone to uh, reload all the services on the background. Okay, so now I'm just going to log into my uh, home screen with my lock screen pin. Okay, so this is very similar to uh, us pulling out the battery and then putting the battery back in. So that is the same thing, but because we can't actually pull out the battery uh, on newer models, so we will need to use the uh, keys combination to force the device to restart. Okay, so give that a try. If it does not work, we will now go to solution number three. Okay, next we're going to uh, put the phone into safe mode. So we're going to swipe down and then swipe down again. Then we're going to tap on the power button. Okay, and then in here, we're going to touch and hold on the power off button and then tap on safe mode and wait for your phone to boot up into safe mode. Once you are in safe mode, only the stocks app are loaded. Any third party downloaded apps Will not be load, uh, will not be loaded. Now the reason we want to do this is we want to make sure that third-party apps does not cause uh, cause an issue uh, on your device. Sometimes um, uh, like overlay apps that can cause a problem with the screen and cause it to uh, be glitchy, especially after the update. Then uh, certain apps will not be compatible with the latest uh, Android version. So we want to make sure that no third app. Uh, are causing an issue with the display. So once you're in safe mode, you can see it says safe mode here. So I'm just going to put into my screen. So once you're in safe mode, just play around on the screen to see if there is any issues. Uh, I know that some apps like drawing apps, especially drawing apps, uh, sometimes it has the ability to overlay a certain graphic on the screen and the overlay overlay layers uh, cause glitching on the screen when it is not compatible with the latest Android version. And this is the reason why we want to go into safe mode and see if it still works with the stock apps. Okay, so to exit safe mode, you can swipe down and tap on safe mode is on. So tap on this button and then tap on turn off to turn off safe mode and wait for your phone to put uh, back up into normal mode. Okay, solution number four is to wipe the cache partition on your device. So to do this, what you want to do is first switch off the phone. So press on the side button, or you can swipe down at the top here and tap on the power button, then tap on power off, then tap on power off again to turn off the device. 
Okay, once the phone is switched off, I'm going to use the headphone and connect it to the device. You need to connect to a headphone or you need to connect your phone to a computer. Okay, so either use a headphone or uh, connect the USB cable to a computer. Next, we're going to press on the side button together with the volume up buttons. So simultaneously, press on both buttons and hold. So press and hold like this. And once you see the Samsung logo, let go of the buttons and shortly it should be put into recovery. You can, so you can see here, it said Android recovery. Now we're going to use the volume down button. So press on the volume down button and then choose wipe cache partitions. Okay, so choose wipe cache partitions and then press on the power button to select and then press on the volume down button to select yes okay so select yes okay i'm just trying to get a focus here so you can see what's going on on the screen so again i'm going to press on the volume down button and then choose cache wipe cache partition press on the power button and then press on the volume down key and select yes then press on the side button Okay, now it is uh, completed. So wipe, uh, cache wipe complete. And then we go to the top and we press on the power button. Okay, to choose reboot system now. And your device will now uh, boot up. Okay, so far, if it still does not work, then we will go to the fifth solution which is to reset all the settings on your device. So in here, you want to swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings button. Next, we go down and tap on general management. Okay, so when you're in here, go down and tap on reset. And then tap on reset all settings. And it says this will reset all settings on your phone except security settings, language settings, accounts, personal data, settings for download apps. So tap on reset settings. Now we need to put in the screen pin and tap on next. Then tap on reset. Now by resetting the settings, it will not cause you to lose any data. For example, photos, contacts, and apps data will not be lost. It simply resets some of the settings on your device and how settings can sometimes cause your screen to glitch. So give it a try and see if it works or not. Okay, so if nothing has worked out for you guys so far, then we are opt to go for the last option, which is we're going to do a full reset on the device. That means you're going to erase everything on your phone and start over again. Now, before you do that, I actually want you to try something first. I want you to actually try a hardware test to see if your screen actually have an issue or not. So you want to open up your phone application. Okay, so in here, we're going to key in asterisk and then hash zero asterisk hash. And in here, we are going to a secret test menu and we want to tap on touch. Okay, so we're going to do a hardware, a displayed diagnostic. So we're going to run down the lines like this. So you want to run down the line, just do it slowly and see if the screen is responding to your touch. Okay, and then we run down this way. Okay, so we're gonna run down up this way and if it all works fine, the screen is responding, then it could be something, it could be a software problem and not the hardware. So you can see here, I have no problem with the touch of the screen. So there is no issue on the display. Now I'm just gonna tap on the back key twice to go back to my phone uh, menu or the keypad and then tap on the home button. Okay, so now that I have tested uh, using the hardware test and knowing that the display is working fine, now we can try to perform a full reset. So swipe down at the top, then tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on general management. It should be somewhere in here. So tap on general management. 
and go down and tap on reset then tap on factory data reset now before you do this make sure that you have backup all the data on your device you can backup to the cloud or you can backup to a computer or you can backup to a usb drive whatever method that you use you can back them up uh, in in here should be somewhere in uh, battery and device care so I think in storage should be somewhere in here where there is an option to backup. Okay, so just gonna tap in. I can't ex remember exactly where it is now. Because so I'm going to tap in backup. Okay, so tap in the backup. So it's got here accounts and backup. And you can backup to the cloud. You can backup to Google Drive, or you can perform an external uh, storage transfer. Okay, so you need to plug in a USB drive and you can back up to your USB or to your computer. Okay, so make sure you back up your data before you perform a full reset. And once you have all your backup, you can go to general management, then tap on reset, then tap on factory data reset, and then go all the way down to the bottom and tap on reset. And in here, you need to put in the screen pin to confirm and once you put in the pin uh, you should be able to proceed with a full reset and so hopefully uh, one of the, the solutions in this video uh, can help you guys to fix the glitching screen after the android update thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos